how should the answer to this question be set out? Let's break it down a bit to see what we're being asked. As usual, the speed of the connection, shown here in red, is given in bits per second in this case. 114 gigabits per second and the file size is given in kilobytes. The size of the file that's going to be transferred is 321 kilobytes, shown in green. And you've been asked to give your answers in seconds and rounded to three significant figures. The colours here are to help show how the parts of the equation fit together. You don't need to colour your answer text. It's worth beginning by showing the general equation you'll be using. This helps to remind yourself what you're trying to achieve and to show your tutor that you've identified the correct equation. Sometimes there'll be a mark or two available just for stating the equation you're using. On the next line, we substitute in the numbers required by the calculation. This is a 321 kilobyte file size shown again in green, and it's divided by a communication capacity of 1.14 gigabits per second, shown in red, and the answer to this calculation will be time, the time taken. It isn't necessary to show this step in your final answer, but it is a stage in the process, and in the interest of explaining this part of the calculation, the file size being converted from kilobytes to bits is represented in scientific notation. I'll include it here as it explains how we get to the next line in the calculation. And note that we don't need the trailing zero. I've just added it here to show where the decimal point started out before we started multiplying by powers of 10. I'll leave it out in the subsequent slides. And now we're ready to show the next line in the calculation. And in this line, you show the separate parts of the equation. This is just a way of demonstrating how you made the calculation and that you understand what you're doing. Notice that we've got the arithmetic of 2.629632 divided by 1.14 on one side and then the calculation of the powers, that was 10 to the power 6 divided by 10 to the power 11 which is a takeaway so we've now got 10 to the 6 minus 11 in the powers. The arithmetic part and the powers part have been worked out and there's now only the final step of making sure that the answer is in the required format. You can see that in the last line but one it is difficult to show the units to indicate bits and the part that is in bits per second without making things look over complicated. The outcome of this line's calculation in other words, when you divide the file size by the connection speed, will be in seconds, hence the use of the unit S. Always take the time to recheck your answer against the original question. Have we answered the question? Let's recap. Have we answered it in the format required? The final line shows the answer and includes an indication of the units used. The symbol S has been used to represent seconds rather than using the word seconds. The answer is in scientific notation and additionally has been rounded down to three significant figures. And why have we done all this? Because that's what the question asked for. Finally, here are some of the ways you could lose marks or more accurately fail to gain the marks that your tutor wants to give you. Marks are available for including the general equation and for showing the units requested by the question using the correct case of letter for a unit or a symbol and for using logical maths. By following the guidance given in this video you should be able to gain the maximum marks available for any calculations that you have to do in your TMAs. Thanks for watching.